Morning folks, it's Big Mike again, and today we're going to do a Tesla plug. If you have a panel in your garage like this, and I just did one the other day, you can do this yourself. If you just got your car and you can't wait the three weeks for the electrician to show up, this is an easy to do plug in your garage and minimal tools. I like the Milwaukee electric screwdriver, but you don't really need that. You need a couple screwdrivers probably a phillips also your lime inch your side cutters your strippers a knife a drywall saw here is the tesla rated plug the actual number is 14-50r and this plug we're going to show you other uses for this plug but this is a great plug i'm glad they picked this plug and here's the stainless steel plate to finish it off in your garage so this is going to be a cut-in project you need a three-quarter inch connector to go to the panel we have five feet of wire and that's all we're going to need for this job. I have my knee pads because it's a little rocky here. I'm going to get down. I got my two gang box that this plug is going to recess into for the plug. I got my working gloves which I like. My impact driver. And the secret weapon for all you homeowners is this coat hanger and we'll show you what this coat hanger is going to do later. This is uh, really OSHA approved. Uh, we use a regular snake, it's called a snake, but if you're a homeowner, this coat hanger will really come in handy. Okay, this is your typical panel mounted in your garage in a wall. This is our new temporary uh, wall to show you guys how it's done. So this would be just like we, I, we did the other day in someone's garage for their Tesla plug. You're gonna use your imagination to, uh, but this is a working wall. Put the panel cover down here. I got my coffee cup, my Starbucks coffee cup. If Starbucks wants to sponsor us, I drink there every day. Okay, so first off, we have to get the box in the wall. So to utilize this particular box, I'm gonna trim it up with my side cutters. You can do it with your sawzall. Just get these nail tabs out of here. This, if you were, if you were putting this onto a wall that didn't have the drywall, you can nail that right onto the studs when you have open studs. And we're going to cover that in another future video. future video, how to do that and how to add a plug. If this was your garage and you wanted to add a couple of plugs for the workbench, so. I have a little bit of wire. I don't want to go all the way down. I only got a little bit of drywall. I got plenty of wire here. So I'm just going to take the bo box. First off, I'm going to, I can see where the studs are right here, but I'm going to put the box down here. I'm going to find the stud. I'm right against the stud with my Klein hammer. Imagine this drywall all the way down. This is a full wall in a garage. Try to get it level. I don't have my level with me today. Everything has to be level. And so then you take your drywall saw. Okay, I got the hole. I like them nice and tight. Here we go. There's your box hole. Okay. Now I'm going to knock out the three quarter inch KO for the panel because I got to put this connector up inside there. So we're going to knock this out. There we go. Got it out. There we go. Now. The coat hanger comes into play, the OSHA approved coat hanger. So, and just remember if you can do this with the panel off, that'd be a lot better. But, like I say, I usually leave the power on. Just a little tape to make my connection better. Bend this around, close it up a little. 
So you have to be ultra careful if your panel's on, sending this down the wall. So I'm just going to use this to go down the wall. You can even use a piece of string and a, and a nut. Here we go. We got it. Okay, now we're going to get the wire ready. I want to make sure I got enough for the makeup in the panel. Let me take a little bit more. Just follow this down again with the line of the wire. Just be ultra careful. Just skin the outer plastic. Now we got to put on the connector. Open it up, slide it down, should be enough for the panel. Let's again tighten it up. I love my little Milwaukee. Snug, but don't go crazy. Don't squinch it too hard, just get it snug. Getting tight, it's not going anywhere, it's tight. And don't forget to swing your lock nut out. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to take that off. So now we got the coat hanger here. Got electrical tape. This is an easy pull, so we're just going to tape it up. Try to get the ends. What gets you is the ends of the wire get caught in the hole. And got to make sure you... Got a little tip right on that hook so that doesn't get stuck on anything. Sometimes you got insulation in the wall. This is a makeshift that uh, just for show. Sometimes you have insulation and it's another pain in the butt. So you just kind of feed it up there. Be careful if this panel is hot. If you can, shut it off, please. But once again, we do this for a living. And we trying to make money. So, the faster we can go, the more money we can do. So we just gotta get this. Okay, lock nuts on. Now you wanna tighten it up a little. Once again, I'm using my Klein tools. Klein, if you wanna sponsor me, that's fine. I'm a Klein guy. So, now the wire is in the panel. Get the tape off and our, our hook, coat hanger. The coat hanger did its job. You don't have to go out to the store and buy a metal snake you got. Or you could probably just drop a string down if your wall's open. If you got insulation, it's another problem. So right now, you got this set in here. I usually make that up last. So we're gonna go down and get the box ready now so I don't need too much wire because this wire is big but I do need eight or ten inches so I'll go about here and this wire is number six is I have a bigger cutter but once again your homeowners can just chip away at it get through it okay so once again you can see the lines in this number sixes. So just follow it around. Pull it back with your thumb. Just get that outer coating. Pull it up again. It slides right off. You can get the paper off now if you want. Okay, here we go. Now we got the box. Again, your bigger screwdriver right there. The wires go in. The box gets pushed in the wall. I'm gonna get this it flush with the wall. A couple drywall screws. And uh, now I'm going to use the impact driver.
You want to get that screw all the way in there. And then pull that top of the box that's nice and flush with the wall before you put the next screw in there. It's nice and flush. So again, I'm using my little sleeve on this to sleeve up the screw. Making sure it lines up good. Once again, drive that baby in there. Box feels really good, but I'm gonna put one more screw in the back. This is bigger wire. When I bend it in, the box may bounce around a little. So I just wanna get one more screw in there. Make sure you stick around for the bonus video at the end. Okay, so what do we have here? We have our ground wire, our neutral wire, our black hot wire, and our red hot wire. And they're just about the right length. So I'm going to, there's two ways to strip them. The way I do it, I'm gonna trim that because it's a little rough. I just score it, slide it off. For you guys, some guys, like to do the knife procedure. I'm not. You can do that. I guess. Just be careful once again, you don't want to score your wire. I like the other method better myself, but I've been doing it a long time and I don't cut the wire. It's just. Once again, that's all you need. A good, uh, not three quarters, maybe five eighths. Here's our receptacle, the 14-50R. Good call on the Tesla guys for picking out a good plug. I like this plug. Once again, Home Depot, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks. The issue green, green is ground and We'll have other videos to go over the colors if you have a question. And here's one of your hots. I try to untwist my wires. Black one's going up here. Let me undo that screw a little bit more. You want it all the way in there nice. A good good size screwdriver like this and get a good torque on the screws. Some people like Phillips, but the straight works really well. That's a good torque on there. Mm. It's not torque rated, but it's torqued. Okay, this is your white, neutral. It's the color, see? That's the color for white. On all our plugs. Good and tight. Now here's my final one hot wire to make the 220 for the plug or 240. And then, well, it depends on your voltage in the city, actually. And they're all the same. This Tesla will work on 240, 220. Oh, there we go. Twist it in. Like I said before, the wires are big. Get a little bend to them. Twist them in there a little bit. Okay, on the Tesla plug, we want the ground all the way up to the top because that the way that the plug sits in and the cords hang down you want the plug at the top so back to my trusty Milwaukee it takes four screws 
Just get one started here. Twist it all in there nice. Here we go. Just yeah, let's get the uh, screws lined up. A632 grab pretty good. We need all four in there. You want it level with the drywall. Once again, there's big wires in here. Make sure they all kind of bent in there good. Let me get one more in the bottom. So this is in the Wally garage. Okay. And then we just throw the pl plate on there. I'm just going to put one screw in so you guys can see. Line one up there. So it takes four screws, but for time's sake, we're going to jump upstairs here to the panel. There you go, you put all your four screws in. It's, you got to tighten that up a little so it's flush to the wall. And that's your plug. Make sure your ground is on the top, your neutral's on the bottom, your two hot side to side. So now we're going to go up here to the top. Once again, we have our... Put my knife to get rid of the paper. Get the paper, cut it back. Be careful, don't nick any of the wires. Trim it up nice. So, on a sub-panel, that isn't your main panel, like your sub-panel in your garage, you have a grounding bar that's separate than your neutral bar. This is your neutral bar, this is your two hots, and your ground bar. So this is a temporary panel I just made up. This is how it'll look in your garage. So, once again, in the main panels, we'll go over that later, the ground is ground is tied with the neutral but in sub panels we need a separate ground kind of get it bent in there nice let's get it tightened up and also I can finish it off with my bigger screwdriver get a good turn on it so that's my ground, tuck it in the back, get it nice out of the way. Okay, on a Tesla plug, this is a 50 amp rated receptacle. So, and this is a Siemens panel, and this is a Siemens breaker. So Siemens and Murray are the same. So sometimes it says Murray Siemens. So you gotta get the right breaker to go with the right panel. Um, so these are my two hots, and the white is my is always my neutral. Tuck that in, and do a little bend on it like that. Once again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip it with my strippers here. Just run it around, pull it off. Neutral in the neutral bar. Today's easy because there's no other wires in my way. Get it tight. And I always like to finish it off with the bigger screwdriver. Just get a really good turn on that. Then tuck it in the back. My guys are really good at the way that they bend and get everything beautiful. I'm not as good as them. Once again, your black wire goes to one side of the breaker. And does it matter? Black on top, red on bottom. No, it doesn't really matter. Um, black, red, blue. So it's usually black, red, A, B. But if you're a homeowner and you got this far, you're doing a great job. Hopefully you got the Tesla Plaid. 
gonna call me over for a test ride. There's my black, tuck it back in. Getting tight. Kind of just eyeball the red one now. Right there. Again, cut it. Pull it off. In the hole. Tighten it up. Good and tight, tuck it back in. Then you have to knock these knockouts out. Take your alignments, grab it from inside, just wiggle it. Then the next one you can just grab with your alignments and wiggle it. And these panel screws, you need four of them. So it lines up. Screws go in, and you're done. Plug the car, oh, turn the brake around. We could have done a voltage test, but this is just a test wall. There's one more thing that you have to do that I haven't done, and so many houses you go to, people forget it. And I don't have my label maker with me today, so I would just take my Sharpie and write, car plug or tesla plug right here or uh, any good electrician has a label maker on their truck so they can just label it and it's a good thing to mark your panel so when you come back later on if you have a 50 for this and a 50 for the range or something you know which is which or a 50 for the air conditioning you're not shutting your air conditioner off so that's it in a basket boys i spent a half an hour or so. If you have this configuration at your house and you bought a new Tesla, kick it out yourself. If you run into any questions, email me, drop me a line, subscribe below, and everything will be below, and we're good to go. Come back, back for the next time. Okay, folks, here's the Big Mike t-shirt. If you want to do this and look professional, let's get a t-shirt. and. Every t-shirt, every dollar taken in is going to go to my new plaid Tesla. So let's uh, get the orders, order the shirt, and anyone that really wants to make a contribution, I'll even give them the shirt off my back. Big Mike, to the rescue. The pop-up special is, you always end up breaking your pencil, and you need a good shop pencil. And this cool little pencil kit from Home Depot. Just hold on to that thing, put it in your drill. Whammo, beautiful pointy tip to get your exact marks. Another cool tool from Home Depot. Comes in the pencil kit. Thank you very much.